fact, that must be an incredibly frustrated dressing room because that's for the second game running against Kent. You've lost with a ball to spare. Yeah, I mean, obviously very disheartening to lose that close to the end. I feel we're, we're obviously right in the game right until the end there. Um, probably just a bit light batting-wise. And I thought that was a brilliant scratch from the guys to actually get it down that far, really. Last year, the game produced 200 runs for both sides. This time, it was only 135 you guys. Was it, was it a different wicket? What was it doing out there? Yeah, I'd say the, the wicket was definitely more tricky than, than when we were last here. Uh, slightly sticking in the surface, the slower balls were, were difficult to get away. Yeah, I'd say uh, definitely a different surface. Ten runs needed off the last over. Did you feel that could go other way or did, were they still in front, do you think? Uh, you've seen those situations so many times. You never know, really, do you? Um, I mean, Abo did his absolute best there. It was a two couple, one good shot that put us on the back foot. They can go either way and I'm sure... We'll win those more times than we'll lose them. You're in the side. Big shoes to fill because Mason Crane has done really well the last few games. But you came out a good spell as well. One for 22 from your four. Were you happy with that? Yeah, really happy with that, actually. Um, I wasn't expecting an opportunity because obviously seeing Dawson Mace bowling so well and they're, I mean, they're two of the best in the country, I'd say, in this, in this format. So, yeah, but really glad that I can come in and, uh, and help the boys out. So. Is there also frustration in that dressing room that there were still four balls left of your innings and that actually might have made the difference at the end yeah I'd say so yeah we'd obviously be looking back on that we'd be frustrated um, we probably thought we were trying to push for a bit more uh, a few more runs really so um, but yeah looking back we'd probably be a bit frustrated about that and again wickets lost in the power play there was three again today yeah I think we're very close to getting it right so um, just goes to show we, um, you know, we weren't right at our best and we've still come within two balls of winning the game so I think best is still yet to come from us in this competition. Now, I've mentioned your bowling, but what about that athletic bit of fielding to get rid of Zach Crawley? <laughs> oh, my fielding's always been a strong point. I, something a coach always goes on about my fielding. Uh, so, yeah, glad I can show it. You looked amazingly enthusiastic out there. You looked like somebody who hadn't played for a while and really wanted to get stuck and in. That definitely is, yeah. That definitely what is. Uh, running the drinks on for a long time, obviously, I'm just really happy to get out there and uh, hopefully a few more opportunities to come my way. Obviously, it's a shame what's happened to Mason and his side strain, but it looks like there might be an opportunity for you for a little while here. Yeah, we obviously hope Mason gets the speediest of recoveries. Um, if there is an opportunity, then I'll just try and grasp it with both hands, really, and hope that I can uh, contribute all, uh, all three areas. It's been a good run, isn't it? Three wins on the bounce, a loss today. What's that done, do you think, overall, in terms of where you guys think you might, if you might qualify or not? Uh, it doesn't really change our mindset a huge amount. We obviously go into every game trying to win every game. Um, we know that we're capable of winning every game we've got left, so that's what we're aiming to do.